So you want to be a content creator, but how bad do you want it? What are you willing to give up to make that happen? What are you sacrificing to become a creator? Let's talk about it. Vlogmas day 21. If you're new around these parts, I am that dude, Doc Rock. I'm here to help you get your YouTube growth on and get better at live video. Today, we're talking about sacrifices. What are you willing? to sacrifice to become a creator here it is fam lots of people want to become content creators lots of people see the glitz and glamour so they think of what it is to be a youtube creator a lot of people say i want to be a youtuber so i can get lots of views and makes lots of money and make lots of money it makes lots of money it makes lots of money but i'm here to tell you youtube kind of sort of doesn't work like that it is hard work hard work being a creator is hard work and i'm here to tell you in order to grow if you really want to do this you are going to have to make some sacrifices in order for my boy tommy ellerson to become such a sick magician he had to give up dates in college so he says that required him to not go out and have fun and party like the rest of the people so that he could become a great magician magician wizard what so that he can become a great magician if you wanted to be a fantastic guitar player you got to give up doing regular stuff so you can spend time practicing if you want to be a great anything you have to give up something so to be a creator the question is what are you willing to give up are you willing to give up those extra nights out with your homies are you willing to give up some time with your family so i asked a couple of my partners what were they willing to give up to become the creators that they are today some of the things i had to give up in order to get into being a content creating entrepreneur is honestly those areas of my time where i was just using them however i wanted to if i really think about the goals that i've hit why i've been able to hit them i can't help but look at the things i had to sacrifice and that may be those easy pleasures of hanging out with friends hanging out with family or just really whatever your favorite pastime which for me may be watching anime but i don't have time to watch anime and i don't have time to hang out with friends if i'm really focused on the goal that i want to achieve in my business that requires me to create content and it's not just the times that i have to sit in front of the camera it's the times i have to sit and plan out the materials do the research engage with my community and put a priority on my business versus my pleasures so i've given up quite a bit and honestly at every new stage there was always something that i had to also get rid of or reuse that time in a different way but that's also helped me to enjoy some of my better pleasures of really being able to take one two three solid days even a week or more and really enjoy that and be fully present with my family it doesn't mean it's all doom and gloom it just means that i've had to sacrifice quite a bit to achieve those different things but it also uh, that same great cost has come with it's also come with great uh, reward to not honestly wouldn't have changed anything for the things that I had to give up to become a content creator. Hey everyone, what's going on? It's India. Today, I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about what I'm sacrificing for Vlogmas and becoming a better content creator. And the biggest thing is not having as much free time as I'm used to, not having as much downtime as I'm used to. I still have my main nine to five job, which is my main source of income. And in between that, you know, I have a family, I have a fiance, I have two dogs. And right now with learning to create content on a daily basis or trying to create content on a daily basis, learning how to be a better editor, jumping on doing live streams, helping out on Facebook pages has eliminated almost all of the free time that I have. And that's okay because the return on the investment when I've built new friendships, when I can cut my editing time from an hour to 45 minutes to a half an hour, et cetera, shows that I'm growing and it's gonna be worthwhile in the long run.
I'm making this video and it's one o'clock in the morning. Thank you ladies and I'm with you. In order for me to become a creator, I basically had to give up many nights of FIFA, The Division, and Call of Duty. I also had to give up drinking with my homies. So now I drink at home alone like a crazy person. I'm joking. I had to give up a lot too. I'm starting to find out things that I thought were so important to me aren't really as important because I'd rather be doing this creating stuff. I'd rather be doing this creating stuff than just about anything else. And that's how you know you mean it. So I just want to let you know, if you're getting ready for 2021 and you're ready to dive in your channel and start your YouTube journey, just know it doesn't happen overnight. Those cases are very, very, very rare. So be prepared to put in some work and be prepared to sacrifice a few things in order to become the creator that I know you can be. Now remember, you have to wake up every day and tell yourself, I am a creator. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and watch the video that's coming on screen next.